Crime alert tonight. Mobile County investigators are analyzing the phone of an accused killer. They say used a dating app to lure his victim. Sabante Rhodes was charged with murder last night. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live now with how investigators tracked him down. Andrea. Yeah, Kim and Greg uh, Rhodes is here at Metro Jail tonight. He was arrested yesterday morning at a sex shop in the county. He was with a man he had just met that morning on the Grinder app. Mind you, this is just days after the sheriff's office says he killed a man that he had met on that app. I ain't killed nobody. Investigators say Sobrante Rhodes arranged to meet Johnny Sokies through the dating app Grinder, Rob Sokies, and shot him in the head Friday leaving his body near this storm drain at the end of a deserted cul-de-sac off Euler Road. Captain Paul Birch says before killing him, Rhodes forced Sokies to go to an ATM at 3 in the morning. Surveillance video is what first connected Rhodes to the murder. Birch says investigators were watching Rhodes Tuesday morning as he met up with another man he'd met off Grinder, a dating app geared toward the LGBTQ community. They both got in the, the Lincoln Aviator and then drove away and pulled up to um, that NT sex shop on, Car on Old Pascagoula Road, and that's where we took him down. Birch says they pounced before Rhodes could strike again. I believe that guy was an intended victim. In talking with him, he, he, was, he was embarrassed, but he was very grateful. Well, Captain Birch believes that Rhodes was using this app to lure his victims to target people, and he believes that there are other victims out there who have not come forward yet. He is urging those victims to do so, and he reminds people you can do so anonymously. Reporting live in downtown Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.